Good morning friends, it is Monday today and we're off to an exciting start of the week already. Some of you may remember this clip from the first week of classes that I had to go through a couple of months ago. In class yesterday, and bear in mind I still don't understand what the teacher is saying at any point, we went through this complicated procedure in which people suddenly started playing rock, paper, scissors at each other and then we got some playing cards and then suddenly the teacher said something which I imply from context means who has the one of A's um, because the person next to me started shouting Marta does, Marta does and raising my hand for me. Turns out we're doing two minute presentations and I am going first. Today we got the assignment for the second round of presentations and it happened again. In fact it's actually quite a bit worse today since last time we got told about presentations on a Friday and the A of Hearts, me, had to go on Monday which meant I at least had the weekend to prepare for this. This time we got the announcement on Monday and I am going tomorrow. On top of this I also have culture day coming up on Wednesday. Now I had planned to set aside today for the entire afternoon and evening to just work on getting some designs for that ahead of time and practicing those because I wanted to go really really well. Not gonna happen anymore because now I have to do a presentation instead but I'm gonna do my best to finish this up as quickly as I can and then see if we can get into the designing afterwards. My presentation today actually went surprisingly well. I managed to go through the entire thing without feeling on the verge of a panic attack at any point, so it's already a massive improvement from my last presentation. So it's the big day tomorrow. I currently have keys to signs from last night. I still haven't quite chosen, but I'm thinking to go for either this one or this one. On top of this we had the introduction lesson for the culture day tomorrow, during which I was able to get keys measurements. This is the top part of the cup and the bottom part of the cup. So I stopped at the shop to get this and I'm hopefully going to be able to use this and my drawings to figure out the exact sizes and get a proper design once I have chosen which design to go for. While I was at the shop looking for compass, I noticed that they had a large basket of washi tape on sale. So I couldn't help but getting one and then I got another one, and then I got another two. Oops. I started out by working out the dimensions from the circles I had made. I got distracted decorating the page only to realize that I'd forgotten to measure the height of the cup, so I had to work it out by eye. Fortunately, I had it in my hand for a long time while drawing the circles, so I sort of knew more or less how big it was. I still hadn't chosen a design at this point, so I started working on some guidelines, continued to procrastinate on choosing something by having a workout and having dinner, and eventually just realized that I did not have that much time left, so I just went for it and went for the idea that I thought would be best. The idea I went for was a blend of my two favorite ideas, which I hadn't tested out before, I went straight for it and then once I looked at it, I felt kind of disappointed with it. I feel like this was related to the fact that the colors didn't match what I had in mind, which is okay because the colors on the cup are gonna look way different. But I also felt like it was too white on the page, so I decided to color it in, in the actual cup. Um, I felt a lot better about my design once the sketchbook page looked a little bit more cohesive and I added my brown paper and it didn't look terrible anymore. 
Yeah, it definitely wasn't feeling very confident about the design at this point, but I didn't really have time to do anything else, so I pushed through it and kept going. I started making some help tools because I knew I'd only have an hour to implement this. So to start with, I drew some circles on a paper and then divided them into eight. This was so I could put my cup on top and mark out where the divisions were so I could have eight exact parts and draw the lines over it without taking too long. I also cut out some oval shapes from a yogurt lid I had around. This was so I could trace over it without having to worry about making exact equal circles. When Wednesday finally came round, I knew that I was prepared. The location itself was beautiful, although slightly uncomfortable. We were sitting in an old Japanese house with traditional floor tables, which was really gorgeous to look at, but not the best position to draw in. About 15 minutes into the drawing session, I stopped being able to feel my legs, but it was so gorgeous, I just didn't care at this point. In order to paint on the ceramic, we used two different types of special paints, Koi and Usui. Usui means sin and it's basically just koi plus water. Both of these paints look brown when you're using them, but they turn either dark blue or light blue once you put the cup in the oven. But at the time, it's really difficult to keep track of which colours you're using, so I'm really looking forward to figuring out what the final result will look like. After the painting we also had a tour of the old furnace which was really interesting to look at and then some of us went for lunch and me and Sylvia had an explore around the area as well. With Christmas slowly creeping up, we decided to go to Osaka on a Thursday after class in order to avoid the crowds. This was much more exhausted than I had anticipated and I got home pretty late, but it was worth it because I have all my Christmas shopping done now. Today was also my first time trying out taiyaki, which we had at the station in Kyoto before we set off because of how hungry we were.
This weekend is my last weekend before the Christmas break, so nothing too exciting has been going on. I've mostly been trying to catch up on work so that I can have all the free time over Christmas. I also worked on finalizing all the Christmas presents on Saturday and I've been doing a lot of travel planning for the Christmas break. And on Saturday we also made last minute plans to go for karaoke and dinner, which was loads of fun. Today I've been working mostly on travel planning all day. It's been pretty overwhelming to get everything sorted out with Tokyo. It's such a big place and the trains are so confusing and I want to make sure I get everything right. But I think I'm basically there now. I'm also hosting a movie night tonight so my friends should be coming over fairly soon. So I'm gonna wrap this up and go clean. But I hope you guys have a fantastic week and see you for the next video.